Now that we have learned how to print text to the screen, it's important that we understand more about printing text. Although it may seem like a boring topic, it's still very important to know, as many simple programs revolve around printing text. So, in the last lesson we learned that you can use the C out keyword to tell C++ to print something. For example, if we wanted to print the word sample, we would have to write the keyword C out, followed by the output stream operator, then sample in between quotation marks, continued by another output stream operator, then the keyword end L, and finally a semicolon to tell C++ that we have finished this statement. So if we run this now, it would print sample as we expect. But there are many more things that we can do with printing. One of those is that there is no limit to the number of things that we can print. In fact, in C++, alongside many other programming languages, there is no limit to the number of times that we can do something. So if we rewrote this initial line five times and ran the program, then it would print sample five times. We can also change the text that is inside the quotation marks. For example, I will change the first statement to print out this is an example, the second to print sentence, the third to print this sentence contains, the fourth to print five, and the fifth to print words. This is just my example, but you could put whatever you want inside the quotation marks. Let's see how we can manipulate the formatting of this. So, if we run the program now, it will just print out the text, but each print statement is put onto a new line. What if we wanted to print out this is an example and sentence on the same line? Although we could just put the whole thing in one print statement, another way of achieving this would be to get rid of the end L and the second output stream operator in the first statement. If we run the program now, we'll see that this is an example sentence prints on one line. This is because by getting rid of the end L keyword, C++ no longer ends the line, and because the line has not ended, the text that we printed after that statement still remains on the same line. But what if we wanted to have a gap in between the first and second sentences? Although we could just create a blank print statement, a better way of doing this is with the new line character. This is just a backslash followed by a lowercase letter n. We can use the new line character by inserting it inside the quotation marks. For example, if I wrote backslash n after sentence, then when we ran the program, we can see that there is now a space in between the two sentences. This is because the end l keyword creates a new line, and the new line character creates another line. But did you know that C++ can handle more than just printing text? We can also tell it to print numbers. It's important to remember that if we're printing numbers, then we do not need to have quotation marks. For example, on the line that says 5, we could just replace that with the number 5. And if we run it, we'll see that we won't encounter any issues and C++ will still print out the number. So, just for the sake of neatness, I'll remove the end L from this sentence contains and 5 so that the entire sentence is on a single line. So now, if we run the program, we can see that this is an example sentence is on one line, then there is a gap, followed by this sentence contains five words. So let's just go over why this program works one more time. To begin with, we have pound include IO stream, which just tells C++ to use the file input output stream. Then we said to using namespace STD, we are just telling C++ to use the standard library. Then we said int main open and close brackets, which as we know is the function that is called automatically by C++. Then we said C out followed by the output stream operator, then this is an example and a semicolon, which prints this is an example but does not end the line after printing it. Then we said C out followed by an output stream operator, then sentence dash n followed by another output stream operator and then the keyword end l which printed the word sentence and then created a new line because of the dash n and then created another new line because of the end l keyword. Then we wrote C out followed by the output stream operator. Then this sentence contains 
and a semicolon, which just prints out this sentence contains, but does not create a new line after printing. Then we said C out, followed by an output stream operator, and then the number 5, followed by a semicolon, which just prints the number 5 without creating a new line after it. Finally, we said C out, followed by an output stream operator, then words, output stream operator, and and L, which simply printed words and then created a new line. After that, we said the statement get char, open and close brackets, semicolon, which waits for input. Then finally, we said return zero, which just tells C++ that the program has run successfully and to close the console window. So, congratulations, you've made a program that can print text with a variety of methods and formatting. This will help you to make more complete console applications in the future. So, in the next lesson, we'll be discussing possibly the most important concept in programming, variables. So, let's jump in.